I am LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk. Today is uh, August the 4th. It's Thursday. And when do we have some good commentary and good conversation for today? I hope you are enjoying the conversations that we have uh, here at I am LaMarcia Lewis. Please like, please subscribe, and please share our, our videos. Uh, leave positive feedback. I welcome that. So, hey, the view announced their new conservative co-host that would take the place of John McCain's daughter who was there for four years. She came um, in 2017. She left at the end of season 24. She did not return and all season long the 25th season which tomorrow will be the uh, official last day of season 25. The ladies will come back in September which is normally right after Labor Day. They're getting ready to go on hiatus but the wait is over. The wait long anticipated wait is finally over it has been confirmed because it had gotten out there yeah in the internet streets it had been alleged uh that abc's the view had sealed the deal with Alyssa farrah griffin and on today's show we found out that is true so let's just okay. kind of listen i found this on the web for abc's the view sorry about that y'all <laughs> siri but let's listen uh this is from the views page um this was, it says, who will be the next co-host at The View? The wait is finally over. Find out only at The View this Thursday, 11 Eastern and 10 o'clock Central Time. Okay, there's been a lot of talk, a lot of buzz out there. Who will be the next co-host of The View? Well, the wait is finally over. This Thursday, live, the official announcement happens only on ABC's The View. Don't so that was that so let's just go right into i love how they started today's show off today's show off today's show off it was a, a drone that they had that gave us kind of some bat scenes of the um of the view so but without further ado let's listen to whoopi make the announcement for their newest co-host Alyssa fair griffin Barbara Walters' original version and vision uh, that different views are represented at this table. So you've watched the search for a new co-host all season long, and I guess it's safe to say it's ending right now. It's our pleasure to introduce you to our newest co-host. Take a look. Alyssa Farrah Griffin was the first person to hold these three roles in one administration. She was press secretary for Vice President Mike Pence and the youngest Pentagon press secretary in history before serving as White House Director of Strategic Communications. She resigned after the election, spoke out against lies about voter fraud, and after the Capitol insurrection, she sat down with the January 6th committee. Throughout the season, she's brought her conservative voice to the table. I will say this as a Republican. My party needs to start, if we are in fact going to undo 50 years of precedent by overturning Roe, we need to invest in maternal care, pay parental yep. leave, yep. funding for rural health care yep. funding, foster care, etc. There were things that were said by Democrats early on that politicized the virus. Like what? Vice President Kamala Harris, in the vice presidential debate, said, I, if Dr. Fauci says I should get it, I will, but I'm not getting a Trump vaccine. That's dangerous. When you see growing violent crime in cities, people want to arm themselves. There's a reason we have a Second Amendment. This is a bad trajectory to be on because I understand Americans who are like, I want to buy a gun. And she understands what it's like to be in the hot seat. And she's not afraid of it. There are people who think that people like me, people like Stephanie Grisham, people like Olivia Troy, don't deserve to have a voice because we work for Donald Trump. I reject that. We are telling the truth now. We are telling it authentically. We are acknowledging what we did wrong. And I am grateful to those women, and I stand with them. And she's taken both sides of the aisle to task. Do you still think he could be a good president after he tried to overturn our democracy? I haven't seen you since you changed, but I want to say this to you. I didn't that, change. I, just to be clear, I didn't change. I swore to the argue, Constitution. You get to talk here every day. I, I, I swore to the guest. Constitution, not to Donald Trump. <laughs> And at a time when political parties are so divided, she's found the middle ground. And I was the first senior White House official to congratulate Joe Biden and his incoming administration. And 
And then I was the first person to speak out and condemn January 6th. And because of that, I got death threats. I got targeted harassment. I still get them to this day. As somebody who regrettably worked for Donald Trump, I do not want to see that man ever be president again. So I want to see credible... Amen. I want to see credible Republicans who represent the party I once was so proud of challenge him. After 29 visits to the show, we're now making it official. Please welcome to the table, Alyssa Farah Griffin. So that was a 5 minute and 38 second of the announcement of the newest co-host to The View, the new conservative co-host that replaces, again, John McCain's daughter, Megan McCain, who sat in the seat from 2017 through 2021. Megan left, left at the end of season 20 season 24 she did not return for the 25th season and again many there are some that's hey just just as happy and just as excited for elizabeth then there are some that reject and not really happy that abc uh the view executive uh did choose her it's something she made a statement she said she's estranged from some of her family members if you have not seen where they announced it uh on the view I, I do ask that you go and look at a look at that particular clip when she made the statement I'm, I'm estranged from some family members she held her head down it's like her eyes went down so that makes me like are you telling the tr truth because many don't see Alyssa as being authentic they think that she just played the game to do what now we see landed her the, the conservative seat many see her as just do again play the role placating to Whoopi because it, it, you can see how she was just when she initially came on she she said if anyone would have told me I would be sitting with Whoopi Goldberg I, I, it's crazy so and I had heard some other commentary mentioned that um she basically just placated to Whoopi is how she did get the role 
for the conservative seat. So, and she did come out giving Whoopi a lot of praise. Cause again, just go back if you haven't already seen it. Cause it's everywhere out there, Twitter, um, on the internet. Uh, I see Et spoke with her. Et I spoke with Joy. One thing, and when Et the lady that was, I think the lady name might have been Rachel that did the interview with both uh, Joy and Alyssa from Et, which is Entertainment to Entertainment TV. Uh, Joy said that Alyssa's personality is different from Megan McCain. I caught that. I said, so basically what Joy is saying, Alyssa, Alyssa has a personality that is basically approachable uh, or, or, or at least pleasant compared to that of Megan McCain. We saw the type of attitude that Megan McCain had. She basically had a very not so pleasant attitude we, we'll leave it at that you know the self entitlement that i'm john mccain's daughter no talents whatsoever no merits whatsoever just having the right last name having the right famous well-known well-respected father that being of uh, the late senator john mccain that's how megan has had the career and the platforms that have been given to her not earned but given because again being john mccain's daughter and she had such self entitlement. She was very rude. She was very snotty, very unprofessional. And like, well, how did she last four years? Because she was John McCain's daughter. But again, Alyssa may mention that, um, like I said, she's estranged. She said she's had uh, trouble in the uh, last two years. Many people have called her out because she didn't leave until after the election. Uh, back in when we found out in November it was in December that she left and in fact they showed the clip when Kellyanne had came on and uh we have to give Kellyanne credit and that's hard to say Kellyanne but Kellyanne said I don't know if you seen your names in light or you seen the light and honestly meaning me being included think she just have seen her name in light she and she knew she needed a job support so therefore she did what she needed to do and again that's that was um placating to Whoopi Goldberg and and just basically doing doing what she, I, I guess you can't be mad at the girl. I mean, we cause we all need a job, so I guess I get it. But but this this is what she said. Listen, when she first hey, came Goldberg, on, I would have said you are crazy. If anyone had ever told me I'd be sitting at a table with Whoopi Goldberg, I would have said, you are crazy. It is such an honor to be with you ladies every day on this set. And it's particularly exciting for me today. Yeah, she said, if anybody would have told me. So, again, play Katie to whoop, but hey, I'm not mad at you, Alyssa, because a girl's got to do, I guess, what a girl's got to do. But at the end of the day, many are saying they don't know how long she would last because she, and, and I agree with what I've heard this one blogger say, I see her as a racist because her dad was one of the ones that, uh, along with uh, the former guy, twice impeached, one-term president who incited the insurrection and attempted a coup, on January 6th of 2021 actually went along with her father was his, his name is Joseph Barron went along with uh the birth of uh thing that Trump constantly tried to say that our former president uh President Biden wasn't born in this country and all that and so it's a lot of things that has come out that we learned uh, Alyssa also at one point in time was allegedly continued to uh, pushed the big lie, uh, spoke on Fox News about uh, potential uh, fraud and all of that. So she, she says she's authentic now. But why did you have to wait till again once you realize that that person, the former guy, 45, was not going to get a second turn? And then you supposedly, as Kelly Ann said, saw the light. I'm not buying it. And just like with Megan McCain, she showed herself after so long. It's only a matter of time that Melissa, Alyssa, I'm sorry, Alyssa would do the same thing, show show us who she really Because, I mean, that's just it. But one, always, you can play the game for so long, but eventually who you are will be revealed. And like the um, phenomenal late, uh, late Maya Angelou said, when someone show you who they are, believe them. A lot of people, um, is, um, has given given support to her. This is what Alyssa has said on her. She said, "Special thank you to my husband Justin, my mom at News Bay fifteen thirty, 
and my amazing in-laws for always supporting me. Thank you to the bold GOP women who've inspired me lately, lately at Olivia Troy, at Liz Channing, Cass Cassidy Hutchinson, uh, Sarah Matthews, uh, O.M. Grisham, which is for Stephanie Grisham, Barbara uh, Comstock. She said, and she also said, and I am thrilled to continue to, with CNN, and I'm so grateful for the incredible journalists, commentaries, producer, and executives who have supported me and grown me for, professionally, feeling so tremendously grateful. So this is what she has said. And Alyssa, uh, Olivia retweeted, proud of my friend for taking a stand, finding her voice, and staying the course. Congratulations at Alyssa on joining the view thank you for your friendship love seeing you at the table with these other amazing women stay strong and keep going so she hit like i say uh here's another lady uh barbara comstock comstock congrats to my friend ella Alyssa farron on joining at the view her smart informed conservative and independent voice has been refreshing and welcoming and welcome in fighting the ugly anti-domestic monologists all too present in our party and politics today. And she got go, girl. So, go with some people um, congratulating Alyssa. So, hey, we, we, we found out what had been leaked that uh, she is the person. Would be, I may mention that when she was in her announcing that she, the new conservative for the table she's uh has, has been there 29 times she they started the basically interview process back in october i believe it was like in october when Alyssa first made her appearance and today is august the 4th so she's been there 29 times today actually i guess made the 30th time out 30th time i guess she was there so of course she's exciting and who wouldn't be because it is she she said she's been trying to be search for what that moment mean or how to express her feelings she said and only one word come came to mind which is honor and, and i have to agree with that because to sit at a platform where none other that was started 25 years ago with barbara walters i mean we all know how amazing and awesome the phenomenal about barbara walters was when she was uh actively uh doing her journalism and interviews and all of that so it is an honor to sit at the sit at the table of the view she sits with someone as phenomenal and as smart and as intelligent and most of all professional sonny hostin a, a former prosecutor a attorney has a journalism degree and like i said just so smart you have to give her her do because she is that she's smart she comes prepared Alyssa already knows that she even mentioned that when she did the interview with uh the lady from entertainment uh that uh Sonny is smart and Sonny's gonna be the one that's gonna hold her account so she already knows what she's up against and they especially and we also again with Anna uh with Joy Sarah and Whoopi so hey Alyssa Theron Griffin is the new voice for the conservative um, panel with the ladies uh, of the view. I'm LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk.